I don't want to set the world on Hi guys, in this video I'm going to cover the Fallout 3 script extender. Um, the actual name of this mod is the Fallout script extender, but it is for the Fallout 3 game. I'm going to be covering what it is and why you should use it. Now, what it is, is a tool or mod that allows other mod authors to do things that would otherwise not be possible. And the list of mods that actually use the script extender is massive. Um, and there are a lot of mods that you are probably going to want to use if you are doing a modded Fallout 3 playthrough. These mods include such things as the Fallout Wanderers edition. And as you can see from the video above, it adds a host of new features from bullet time, grenade hotkeys, sprinting, explosive entries and much much more all of which is only possible because of the Fallout script extender. It's used by mods such as the weapon mod kit mods which add laser sights, silencers, um, scopes etc to most of the weapons in the game. It's used by several of my own mods, including the Thermal Night Vision mod. It, it's the only way that mod authors can get things like key inputs or interact with the user interface. Um, it is required for so many mods that there's no point even listing them. If you are serious about modding your Fallout 3 game, you're going to need the Fallout Script Extender. Now the usual two questions that I get when I talk about the Fallout Script Extender, and any Script Extender in fact, are the following. One, is it safe? And the answer to that question is yes. And the second question is, will it hurt my performance? And the answer is absolutely no. Um, in fact, quite the opposite. The Script Extender allows uh, for new mods that actually improve performance. In the various games we've had script extenders, there have been mods that tweak the settings, that do dynamic changes to your settings so you get better performance in bottleneck areas, and things that remove the dreaded stutters from these games, um, all of which use the script extenders. So absolutely not. It, it, in fact, it may well be helping your performance. So there really is no reason not to use it. Now, the Fallout Script Extender can be found on the fosy.silverlock.org site, and it comes as a single download. There you go. It's currently in version 1.2 beta 2, um, and um, it will always be in beta. <laughs> they, they never take these things out of beta, as far as I've seen, anyway. Um, so, don't worry about the fact that it says beta. Download that. Now I'm going to save that to my desktop so that I can use it from there. Now the archive is a 7-zip or .7z file and it can be extracted using a program such as WinRAR or 7-zip. I will leave links to those programs um, under the video. And the first thing I'm going to do is extract this. I'm going to extract it here. This is the WinRAR program. I could use the 7-zip program. Either works. But extract here. And it is going to extract basically a folder. There you go. And I no longer need the archive. So I can delete that. Now the next thing I'm going to need is the games folder. The Fallout 3 folder. Now I find mine on get games, which is my F drive. I have a, an entire hard disk just for my games, um, and I, it is F, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 3. However, you might actually find that you, if you've installed it by default, I think it's something like C drive, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 3. You will need to know where this folder is anyway, um, and you will find it. You will find it via by searching if you want for the Fallout 3. Dot executable. That's Fallout 3 exe. If for some reason you cannot find Fallout 3. Dot exe and you find Fallout 3 um, with no extension, it probably means you have 
um, files with known extensions, you've got the extensions hidden on them. Um, it's easy enough to check. Folder options, view, hide extensions for known file types. I recommend not having this checked. I always leave it open. That way you can see all the extensions. So I would actually recommend doing that right now if you, for some reason, can't see the fallout3.exe. One thing, if you have known file extensions uh, hidden, this file here and this file here will both appear to be the fallout3.exe because the .cat and .cfg will be removed. So it'll actually be quite confusing. So it's actually, it's a very good idea to deselect that option anyway. A lot less confusing. But that is where our game folder is. Now I need you to open the folder we extracted. And inside here you can see a lot of files plus an SRC folder. SRC is short for source and you can pretty much ignore it. It's the source code um, that, S, that uh, FOSE is made with. So you can actually check it. It's open source. So all you need are these files. Copy and paste into this folder. And the actual uh, mod, uh, Fallout Script Extender, is now installed. However, you're going to have to run the game from now on from the Fallout Script Extender loader. Um, so you could double click this now to start your game. This, this means you can't change your settings. Um, so here's what, how I would suggest you do this. Right click the Fallout Script Extender underscore loader, click send to, oh, excuse me, and desktop create shortcut. You now get a shortcut. You can now close this. So here's the shortcut. And I'm going to rename this to FOSE, Fallout Script Extender. And I'm also going to change the properties. That was, I right click on the icon, then select properties, then I go to change icon, click OK, and I can then browse. And as you can see, it defaults for me inside my uh, Steam Steam Games folder. That's where you'll find a lot of icons. For you, obviously, it's going to be wherever you installed the game, um, or wherever you installed Steam, my mistake. So it might well be C program files, Steam Steam Games, and then pick whichever icon you want. Now I'm going to pick the actual Fallout icon. Click OK. So as you can see now, I've now got Fallout 3. This is the actual normal game loader and Fallout Script Extender. If I want to change settings, I can still run the Fallout 3 game the old way. Change all my options, etc. But if I now want to run Fallout Script Extender, I can double click this and the game will start. So let's check that. Let's make sure that it's actually working. And to check it, you simply double click the FOSE icon and the game will start up very quickly indeed. It skips the launcher, so it's pretty much instant. Okay, once the game has started, uh, you're gonna need to go to the console. Now, the console is usually opened using the tilde key. Um, if you don't know what key that is, it's normally the key that is to the left of the one key. Now, if you're on an international keyboard, it probably isn't even a tilde. I'm using a Norwegian keyboard, and it is, it's got completely different characters, but it's the same key. It's the one left of the one key. If it's not the same on your keyboard, I'm afraid you're going to have to find that yourself. But you press that and a little prompt will appear and allow you to type. And you type in get FOSE version. Press enter and it will tell you FOSE version 1. That's if FOSE is installed and running. If you get that, you, you have installed it and you are running your game in FOSE uh, enabled mode. That is how you're going to run your game from now on. And that's it. That's how easy it is. Um, from now on, you'll be running your game from the FOSE uh, icon that you made on your desktop. The game will start up quicker. It will start up with FOSE enabled and all these great mods will now work for you. So, I hope this video helped. 
a flame in your 